to the Crazy Hand Podcast. I'm Jonas. TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. Let's crack into another one. Yes, sir. Uh, TNT. Yo. You probably know way more about this than I do. Oh, Jesus. So, uh, <laughs> so Twitch let artistic nudity on the on the Shut site the for fuck? like for like a day or something, and then pulled it back. Like I didn't I didn't even know this had happened, and then I saw that they had backtracked, and I was like, I I didn't even know it was a story, and I was like, oh, I could see that being a terrible <laughs> mistake. So. Why don't you explain what happened? I don't know what happened. Oh, you don't know? I have no so, idea, dude. So I, guess I had no they idea. They updated their oh, sexual no. content guidelines yeah. to allow artistic nudity. Okay, so the body painters. It was, it was something like art, like uh, oh, animated God. breasts, or I don't, and like within like a day, porn games. They yeah. literally like pulled it, rolled it back, and then yeah, took it away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And this is why we can't have nice things. Yeah, because oh my god, that's so that's that's the real that's the real conversation here. <laughs> exactly, but, but, exactly. But yeah, man, look, the moment that they started letting the girls do like hot touch hot touch streams, are you familiar with those? Yeah, yeah. Well, it, it referenced that in here that over the controversy of them like being naked but only showing like barely above their boob up. Like, so essentially they're naked, but not showing their chest talking. And then that got banned or whatever. Yeah. It was like an extension of like this or but whatever. Then, they couldn't be on, naked on cam, but. But then girls are like, well, I can't help that I have breasts, you know, and there's something to that. There I mean, yeah. is. You can't help that. Um, do guys have to cover up? No. So why is it any different? Okay. I understand. Right, right. Guys can have their shirts off. Girls can barely even show their cleavage. I don't know if guys can have their shirts off on, on Twitch anymore, to be honest. I feel like it. I feel like I tend to remember like an, an overweight streamer having a shirt. Oh, off. just like a, just like a big dude just yeah. hanging out. Yeah. With and, and honestly, I feel like it would be safer just to say, look, guys, everybody keep your goddamn shirts Got to at least on. have a tank top on. Yeah. Everybody have your shirts on. All right. Please. I mean, I'm fine with that rule. I'm fine with that rule, too. Um. Yeah, I'm not trying know. to watch some guy with his shirt off playing Overwatch. Yeah, I don't know what to say, man. I think it's crazy, but I could definitely see somebody going to hell with the joke. It's very funny because like when they started doing the hot tub streams, I was watching Twitch at the time. No, I was not watching the hot tub I streams. I find that hard to believe. I've but... dipped in the Amaranth maybe like a couple times, all right? But I, it's, her chat is absolutely insane. I'm not, I'm not dealing with that. Uh, but I noticed that a lot of like adult... Film stars were starting to stream. During oh, that really? Time like porn yeah. stars? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And, and they were kind of like just pushing, pushing the envelope a little bit. And it's always interesting. Like if you do go, if you ever go on Twitch or you ever see like a YouTuber or something or a content creator or whatever. Look, man, being on Reddit has already taught me. You got to dig into their profile a little bit. Oh, right? yeah, 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 yeah. So one of the first things I always do, yes, I'm a dirty man, whatever. Screw you. The first thing I do is like, all right, let's see if you got an OnlyFans. Boom. 60%, I would say. <laughs> I would say about 60%. So that's that's one that's what you gotta do, man. I just noticed that there was a lot more like adult film stars in that in that uh hot tub streaming. So area. it was like basically a way they would like sit in the they like they did OnlyFans. Yeah. And they would just use Twitch, like sit naked but without showing anything. Yeah. It's like they, simulated nakedness. Definitely pushing the envelope. So if they allow artistic nudity, like I gotta understand what that is. I know you don't have the paperwork right in front of you, but artistic nudity could be like they have girls who uh, do body painting. Right, right, and if and they could be, I think that was one of them was like body, like the body yeah. painting. And they have girls who do like a rhythmic gymnastics. They do yeah. hula hooping. And well, rope. and to be completely honest, I honestly thought you would know about this. So like usually you have you have information off the dome when it comes to stuff like this so i thought you probably would know more about this just because you're into no, that culture no. more than i am no no but I, I mean i can definitely see why they pulled it back because people oh. are gonna go to hell with the joke that's what that's what i was really getting oh yeah yeah the real story the real discussion is this is why we cannot have nice things yeah yeah and yeah. that goes for everything anywhere all that the part, time all the time yeah, everywhere anything everywhere all the time this is why we have a government this is why the government had tries to have our best interest in mind yeah, yeah. but also appease our wants and desires it, it goes down to the simplest of like there's a gas grill a community gas grill out here 
And there's been more than once that I've walked out and someone has put charcoal in it and used it as a charcoal grill because they couldn't get it to light. Yep. And there's a gas line hooked to that that they just don't have the gas on because there's a dial inside like a little like yep. compartment. They're going to blow up. That is why we can't have nice things because some idiot is like, oh, this is a charcoal grill. When there's obviously gas, there's a charcoal grill literally 10 feet away from it. And people still put charcoal or like the other day there was paper towels and chips of wood in it somebody was trying to i was like this is why we can't have night or like i'll go over to the pool on a saturday morning and all the chairs are in the pool and i'm like what <laughs> in what world is that what you think to do right and that's and that is the simplest level of like a community pool this isn't like you can show artistic boobs on the internet this is that's a whole different yeah, ball yeah, you're all, yeah we're gonna trust you guys to show your boobs but only in an artistic way, all right? Tastefully. <laughs> right. But that's so subjective. <laughs> Tastefully. <laughs> it's like Playboy versus Penthouse, right? Exactly. Like, yeah, exactly. Are, yeah. Are you in a room and you're like, have some books in the background? Or like, are you? Oh, my yeah, God. Dude, the thing about Twitch is that it is kind of like a competition for pushing the envelope, essentially. That's well, why. Yeah. That's why a lot of the uh, the streamers who rose from the uh, hot tub streaming, you know, it was, it was pushing the envelope at the time. And then they floundered out because they're probably they're not pushing it yeah, anymore, right? I mean, you know, you still put a bikini. They stole. On. They stole their people and pushed them off to their OnlyFans or whatever. <laughs> that's probably a lot of truth there. That's a lot of truth. I mean, there. I don't think a lot of those people care about the Twitch. They just want to get someone to know they have the OnlyFans to then. Send them to the OnlyFans because oh. if it's if it's if it's inexpensive enough, somebody will be like, "Oh, it's worth eight bucks, seven bucks." Yeah, whatever. I think it, I think it's kind of like whatever pays. I think it's whatever pays. Yeah, honestly, because yeah, the Twitch yeah. Twitch can pay pretty good, pretty well. Yeah, but I you, doubt it pays as much as an OnlyFans. A couple hundred OnlyFans subscriptions would though. Yeah, I mean, dude, if you what is it? If you have if you five dollars a month and you have what a thousand subscribers? Yeah. I mean that's which probably isn't all that hard if you're you know so that, that's, that's five thousand dollars a month yeah 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 that's that's consistent income that's 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 sixty thousand dollars a month mm -hmm. bare minimum without people buying like any of your paid content mm -hmm. like five bucks a month like I think you could find a thousand people mm -hmm. to like F sign up for funny you should mention five bucks a month that's the price for a Twitch channel subscription as well. So you can subscribe to a Twitch streamer by paying five bucks a month. And what does that do? It gives you access to uh, watch their content ad free. Okay. And it gives you uh, their their channel's particular set of emotes as well. Okay. Or you can see them naked. I mean, no. You don't or you could pay them. five bucks and see them naked. So which one would most people I mean, do? you got to look at their link tree. <laughs> if it's in there, it's in there. They're fans. Right, right, right. So you can pay five bucks to get an emote or five bucks to watch them naked. So, like, I think. I but think, you can't watch them naked, like, when you're at work or when you're, you know, at home or anything. Like, just hanging out. I mean, you don't want to always see a naked chick. Sometimes you want to see a chick with clothes on. Yeah, but then you find the ones that don't have the uh, OnlyFans for that, right? I don't know. I don't know what her. I'm just saying is that it's it's two streams of income. It's hey, I'm just here playing a video game, guys. What's going on? You get to know me. I get to laugh at your jokes. You get to interact with me live because mm, you're typing. That's the dopamine, that's the dopamine, dopamine. The live, like oh my god, she read my comment on stream. Also, uh, later on after stream, you guys can jerk your meat. I'm Oh, I'm going to be on. I'll be doing a live stream on the other site after this and, that and we can get intimate goes. with each other. That is I swear to you, that is is more common than you even think. So they go on the non one to like pull you in by like, oh, my God, they're so bubbly. I love their personality. Yeah. Then they're like, give me 10 minutes, jump on over. And I'll do whatever you want. On Bro, stream a, lo a lot of a lot of guys on Twitch are just horny. So they get on and they, they want to talk to girls. Are the They're guys like, on Twitch doing the same thing? Like jump over to my OnlyFans, I'm going to do a live show. <laughs> I, I will admit is that I, uh, when I do jump into like a guy's Twitch chat and like I see him with like a shirt unbuttoned and he's doing like little chair dances and stuff like brother, I'm like, I can't be here. <laughs> I, like you're trying to you're trying to piece these girls and I'm cool with that and all but I can't be watching this I'm not oh man so he's gonna... trying to like swab them out like yeah I've seen it man I've seen it 
Interesting. It's, it's I mean, every vibe. for every woman doing it, there's a man doing it. Yeah, and I mean, you know, there's lonely people, man. I mean, Twitch is a, a symptom of loneliness. The reason that Twitch is, exists is because the uh, the just the deterioration of the man and woman. Hot take: What's The that? people on the stream are almost as lonely as the people watching. Oh, 100 percent, man. Those people started doing Twitch because they, you know. Maybe they got things in their lives that are already yeah, fucked up. I, uh, a lot of them are, you know, nerds. A lot of them are just outcasts. I know? was watching something. It was I don't remember what the hell it was. It was some video about something, but it somehow got on someone who used to be like an influencer or something, and she was talking about how uh, at some point she was in it doing the whole influencer thing, and she's and she's like, I need to take a break, and she took like a week or two break, and she was like the amount of depression that hit me in those two weeks because I wasn't getting comments and likes and people subscribing and doing the things. I didn't realize how much that stuff meant to me because I was in the middle of it and getting tons of it. And then when it was taken away, even voluntarily, I went into a severe depression because I was not getting the validation and the admiration and the whatever. And I'm like, it's a wild ride to be on. Yeah, yeah, because you don't even know. You don't think it matters until it's gone, and then you're like crushed. And then the fact that you don't, you really can't control how long it lasts. You can only try to like grasp onto it, but it is, it's finite, it's fleeting. Yeah, Yeah, it could be gone. It could be there for ten months, ten years. It could be there for ten minutes. Like you don't know. It's wild, dude. So you gotta keep, you gotta keep riding the roller coaster. You gotta keep riding the edge. You gotta keep showing your boobs in a tasteful way. (laughs) Artistic nudes. Yeah. That's it. It's artistic all... balls. <laughs> hey. Can I show my balls in an artistic R- right? way? Right, Bezos, tricks? ask him. I'm going to find out. <laughs> Anyways, go to thecrazetown.com and let us know what you think about artistic balls. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For Jonas. TNT. Uh, yeah.